All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, buddy, slather yourself in surgery pus and come into my surgery theater. Ooh, fun. Oh, I, I have to come in pre pust Yeah, come in pre pust Okay. Leave, 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 uh, leave your legs at the door, because you and I are going to have a quato adventure. I'm going to sew you onto my chest. Oh, great. All right, yeah, well. It's, and somehow, it's going to help us determine which game to play. Okay, cool. Well, um, bye-bye, legs. Yep. Uh, by the happiness, I wish that I was dead. All right. Yeah. That's okay. You don't need those parts. Um, I'll leave you with your dinger. Okay. We'll, we'll be... Oh, no. I mean, if I had a penis, it'd be the worst. Um, <laughs> I just like it. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you said it, so it's illegally binding. All right. So let me think, just... Uh... Do you think Quato is like the larval form of those gigantic, greasy babies from Nothing But Trouble? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's, like... he's going to butt off of that, dude. Yeah. It's no, it's like guy. both both him and Master Blaster. Like it's yeah, yeah. There's it's different a, forms. It's like it's it's yep. like how the face hugger turns into a xenomorph. No, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, let me uh, let me get some thread real quick. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. I'm bleeding out pretty bad here, so that's okay. I really wish you my would hurry. Okay, all right. Uh, Wait a minute. Are, are we compatible? Do we have do we have the same? Oh no, Gary. God damn it! Why didn't you bring that up before? Oh no! Oh, it's coagulating uh, so bad. Oh, I'm no. dying, Gary. That's my last breath. Tell me which. Which well, which game work? Doing? Oh, fuck. I, you know, I randomized earlier and I read it wrong. What? So I thought we'd have a Quattro adventure, but it's supposed to be Quattro adventure. Fuck. Ow. I was silent there, but uh, because I was dead. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, and, and the, but then my legs revived me. There was enough of my good good, good blood to counteract your bad blood. Good blood. Yeah. Um, my name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. You're listening to Abject Suffering, the show where uh, sometimes we suggest games ourselves. Yeah, sometimes we call our own shots. Um, and this is something different. Uh, you decided, hey, we only get to pick one of these every other month uh, individually, mm-hmm. so why don't we cram four different games into one? So, I'm on to you, Butterfield. Well, it's not. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly choosing for this stuff I used to have, because it's like an excuse to revisit things. Oh, yeah. You know, so, it's like, oh, I, yeah. And I had this Nintendo cart, which is very weird. <laughs> um, and I wanted a chance to revisit it, because I didn't remember it being so bad. And I thought between four things, we have four different digressionary paths. So if the games get boring, okay, you know we can we can do a half hour, a tight half hour on boomerangs. <laughs> and, uh, Gary, I've got I've got at least forty five minutes on boomerangs. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I feel like uh, you know we might even have to spread off into its own podcast, Slang and Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. My name is Gary Butterfield, <laughs> and, we, and today we're slanging rangs, and we're talking we're talking rangs on yep. slanging rangs, bloody chunder. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> it's like the idea of not even putting on an accent. Yeah. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> uh, Good day, mate. <laughs> Good day. Would you like to have a shrimp on the barbecue? Yeah. Um, um crackers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry to all of our Australian listeners. Yeah, we we don't mean anything by it, Liam. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just did. I was about to do another egg joke, but that is for nobody. So yeah, that's true. Nobody else um, suggested this, by the way. Oh well, that's uh, that's that's interesting. We get yeah, they're they're not ex- they're rare, but also not expensive. <laughs> I, don't see, I, don't see, I don't see them very often, but like okay. they're also you know I've never seen one at a retro game expo. Okay. Um, and I kind of kept an eye out because, again, this thing I had like a little bit of affection for. I've seen Quattro Sports because mm. there's a whole Quattro series. They're they're actually pretty attractive carts. Like they've yeah, got that bold. non-standard. Yeah, they're 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 kind of metallic. Mm-hmm. And then they have like these little four covers that are set up as like a quad trick, you know, a, a, like a triptych, but four. Um, they kind of just show these kind of attractive graphics that look like real video games. Mm-hmm. And then inside, though, they are weird kind of budget games that I I won't. Go as far as to say they're like literally without any care, right? Into them, because it's like I don't think these are like we played worse things on the show. These are not good right. on revisit, but it was good enough for me when I was young to be like, oh, this is fine. You know, this is this will uh, take my time for a little bit. Um, 
Yeah. When it's, you get four of them, which is an, an appealing thing. Yeah. I mean, it d- definitely. It's like the thousand one versions of Tetris that you get from the, uh, from the fundraiser, from the magazine sale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so th- these are not so Action much, 52. <laughs> these are not so much bad, but they're proof that, uh, you know, at least I have developed this immediate sense for whether or not something was originally a, uh, an Amiga or ZX spectrum game. Yeah, your your codemastered are going <laughs> off. Go, this is a codemaster joint. Yep. So so like you know the, the, these are not bad. They're just they're just outdated. Um, yeah. Even by the yeah. time this came out, in in varying degrees of that too. Yeah. yeah. You know, like uh, they 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 go uh, in kind of order of rising sophistication. <laughs> uh, you know, as as uh, as we you know as you kind of select through them. Mm-hmm. Um, the weird thing, one thing about the cart is that it has a little black switch on the back on the back of the cart that did nothing as far as I could tell. <laughs> Maybe it was a region thing. Gary, you turned off somebody's life support with that. <laughs> That's right. It was, it was the button from what's his head's the button. <laughs> Follow up to dying darkos, the button. Um, is that what that's called? The box? I the box. Have no fucking idea. The guy, the, the couples, it, 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 it's based on a twilight zone. The, this <laughs> is presented with a box and it's like, <laughs> wait, wait a minute so we just found something out if i get you angry you turn into alex jones <laughs> you're, just, you're just saying that because jeffrey vandegoot called me uh called me that on twitter what no i didn't see that at all they, they said that about the uh the abject suffering where I, we talked about axes okay cool uh, <laughs> yeah so no, I, 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 I didn't i didn't see them say that but uh but yeah that just you know maybe i should tell you something <laughs> Only a Sith thinks that I'm Alex Jones about Star Wars twist. Um, that's right, right? Those things are bad guys. I don't know. The, the Sith, um, yeah, the Sith are the bad ones. They've got the robes. Okay. Not, got not, the robes. not 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 the not the brown robes. They've they've got the robes that go over their heads. They've got the the hooded robes. Cowls. Yeah, cowls. Yeah. yeah, they think cowls are bad because they haven't seen fucking Batman and the Star Wars universe. Yes. Um. Anywho, if you box. think about it, Boba Fett's kind of the Batman of the Star Wars verse. Ugh. <laughs> He looks like a bunch of PVC pipe that was like does everything in that gray movie, everything in those together. goddamn movies looks like a bunch of PVC pipe. They're bad. Let's, let's, we already did that. After, like, after we did just it. Came out, it we, we, yeah. Like, but yes, everything looks like PVC pipe because I was because like, I was agreeing with you. Why? No, well, no, no. I'm just saying. I, like, I'm, I'm I'm furiously agreeing with you. I just don't want to go into it again. Okay. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say though is there's that movie that's the box where the couple's present with the box and you can press it. And someone you someone you don't know dies, and you get a million dollars. Oh yeah, okay. And it's like that ethical consideration. It's it's based on a, a Richard Matheson short story, mm-hmm. and it's like the couple. I I've never actually seen the movie. I just know the moral conundrum. Right, and right. I don't know if the person did the right thing, which is press it five times then throw it away. <laughs> that was, <laughs> it's like the morally right thing to do in that situation. <laughs> um, no, you I'm set up sure. a drinky bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, and then you're a regular Wall Street kid. Um, <laughs> my castle. The uh, I, I would I think that uh, that's what maybe that's what that switch probably did though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and I definitely switch. I've definitely pressed it more than five times. Oh yeah. Maybe there's like a bank account like under like it, if I go somewhere it's under like Quattro Adventure underscore Gary underscore Butterfield, <laughs> and then that has my millions of dollars I got for turning off that person's life support. Yeah, well, I mean, everybody has one of those accounts at Quattro Adventure, um, but it's only under your full name um, capitalized, uh, not okay. the actual name that the government gives you, because that is a that, that is a contract between you and uh, the corporation that is th- th- that is the government on the land, as opposed to your actual rights, which are you know at the sea. Yeah. These these fuckers literally mastered code. Don't question them. <laughs> yep. I, think, um, I think I, I think I got my soft shit, uh, my soft shit, shit all the way backwards. Oh, yeah. Um, let's talk about these games. Yeah. So there are four of them. Um, mm-hmm. in a, in a surprising twist. Um, yeah, these the, means four. <laughs> and adventure means the, fun. The, the, the <laughs> adventure means fun. These are all um, you know, kind of platformer kind of things. So these are not like you know four different um, like. Uh, princess salad in the in the tomato oh, kingdom yeah. or whatever no um, um yeah let's, let's go through them let's go through them in the order that's on the wiki okay yeah uh, starting again in, in rising sophistication yes uh, boomerang kid is probably the simplest one yes this is an amiga ass amiga game that is a single screen kind of puzzle platformer where you can die if you fall more than your character's height so yes. that classic conundrum 
it is, it is just like, yeah, it's just like a little platformer. Like, I don't know if there are puzzles in it. It's just little, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But like, feel like figuring out how to navigate and like, oftentimes you only have like a half tile worth of leeway for a drop yeah. that you can take. And like, you can kind of get, get yourself caught like a, like a cat in a tree, you know, it's, it's pretty hateful. Like it, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it is, it is a strict master. The designs are kind of funny on like, I think the third level, um, I didn't see this, this alligator that like blended in the background. Oh Yeah. And when I stepped on him, he looks real cute. And he looks at the camera like, did I do that? Like after <laughs> yeah. like you step on his back and explode or whatever happens to the boomerang kid. Yeah, well, he just he, yeah. just, he does that old video game thing of like spinning around on the Z axis and then just disappearing. Oh, yeah. 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 So he just he just Colin Collins bears out. Um, he, I think I think it's very funny that boomerang kid uh, never fires a boomerang. Oh, no, he's just, just he's just collecting them. them. He's stockpiling <laughs> them. Yeah. <laughs> He just likes them. <laughs> no, they're just weird. <laughs> that's that, that, that's the thing. Like Machine Gun Joe. Well, what kind of game is that? That's like an accounting simulator. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's a it's a number muncher. Except all the numbers <laughs> represent numbers of machine guns you have. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which I got. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed with that because the idea of playing like a like a boomerang based you know combat platformer like this kind of seemed fun. Yeah. I'm down for I'm down for a boomerang, and this is very much from that era. Um, at least in America, I don't know if this was the case in Britain where this was surely developed. Um, but, uh, that, that brief fascination with Australian culture. Oh yeah. And, and boomerangs. Like, I mean, like I, you know, I had a, uh, a a boomerang. Oh yeah. (laughs) And it like never worked. I don't, I think that we were sold a bill of goods, re how, how boomerangs work. They're always fun to throw because it's fun to throw something spinny like that. It's also just kind of fun to throw things if we're being honest. I mean, yeah, it's it, but but it's like a it, it is a, it's a frisbee meant for hunting. I don't know outback gazelle. I have no idea. But it's a frisbee meant, frisbee meant for hunting kangaroo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you ever have one of those uh, one of those three prongs? Oh, um, the like, triple play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The triple threat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> talk. I'm three play. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. it was it was like a nerf um, or. Uh, Oh gosh, what were those footballs that had the uh, that had the fucking uh, kind of like propeller at the back of it? Not a propeller. Oh, I, I know, sure, I know, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember what they were called. It was like that, except it was a Nerf boomerang that had three like three prongs on it, and like that would come right the fuck back at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it was pretty neat. Like you, it would come like back towards you. Like I could never catch it. Mm-hmm. You know, but it would kind of come in the same general direction as me. But like, like the like the sense that I got was, you know, the the, the native people of Australia would like work their entire lives to train to like do that like thing get right. Good at that. And yeah. I, it, you know, <laughs> I basically treated it like I did, you know, the skateboard that I got, which is I'm not immediately good at this, so it's therefore throw, bullshit. Yeah, your CB yeah. radio. Yeah, I'll throw I'll throw this directly into the lake and hope it never comes back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm a fool to think anyone would want nude pictures of Whoopi Goldberg. But, um, <laughs> Um, so, uh, pretty, I just like the idea that he just collects boomerangs. Of course. And doesn't want them. Yeah. Uh, doesn't, do it, doesn't throw them. He's a collector. He's a consummate collector. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next up, uh, Super Robin Hood, um, which is kind of my jam. Like, I think Super Robin Hood's okay. I, and I, I, yeah, the, I dig this. The, I think the game is very funny because your Robin Hood sprite, it does exactly the, you know, the shitty thing that, that, uh, that example that showed Rocky or not Rocky Rambo. Oh yeah. Where it's like, you know, it has the outline. But he's constantly checking in with the player, like, you see that shit I did? <laughs> yeah. Like, the animation is very funny. Oh, yeah. He's, he's definitely Commander Keening for, yeah. for our benefit. He, he looks over at you and just like, hee hee. Like, <laughs> it is coquettish in a way that I think is very, like, funny. <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's just a little stinker is what he is. Yeah. 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 No, but. Well, he's super <laughs> <laughs> but I really love this kind of like restrained platformer that is, you mm-hmm. know, you're just kind of going along on a horizontal and navigating these ladders and these platforms and, you know, using your uh, like you're charging up your bow. Like, I think this is this is pretty fun. It's it, it feels like something that would have been that would have been represented in a uh, in a game center CX. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so, too. Um, you do, um, you know, and it just, it's kind of, uh, like a Metroidvania kind of thing mm-hmm. in just in that, like you go around getting keys that unlock new areas of the game um for you so yeah. it's not strictly room by room like you can also there's a little bit of like moving around because you're trying to collect all the treasure right uh in this kind of big not open world exactly but like not exactly not that either i mean it's not strictly uh, linear yes yeah. um and uh, uh there are like little like weird kind of uh you know reflex challenges and stuff because super robin hood in addition to having his bow um has like a uh, slide 
Like he can run and slide and it's a very mm. funny slide that goes for a long time. <laughs> um, but you have to, to like get through puzzles. It's intentional. It's not just yeah. slot, you know? Yeah. No, that, that took me a while to, uh, to, to, to kind of grasp, like you get to mm. a place where you have to do that in order to go on. Mm-hmm. And it's not entirely, it's not, not entirely clear yeah. without a, uh, w- w- without a manual. He's got a weird sense of momentum to him too. Like it takes a while for him to charge up yeah, to get to full speed. And like, uh, that takes a little while to get used to. Like it doesn't feel that good in your hands, but it's kind of not a bad game. Right. Um, this was the, the one, uh, this and, and line of space had were the two I spent the most time with when I was young. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I like this has some meat on its bones. Actually. Yeah. I, 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 d- I dig this a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, man, this, this just reminds me, I need to like put this on a short list or at least go back and, and, and try it out. There was a Robin hood game for game boy. I think it was a tie in with like the Prince of thieves movie. Mm hmm. Uh, weirdly enough, that was like an action RPG. Um, I played this with my like my cousin had it. I was like, oh, let's play me a Robin Hood, thinking that it was going to be like the uh, the Disney Robin Hood. Um, mm. It would have cool songs and stuff. But no, it was like an action RPG ass weird numbers based game that I had no point of reference for. I need to go back and actually see if that is as terrible as I remember it being. The, or if uh, it was just NES I wasn't ready for it. Robin Hood is that as well. It's oh, like an isometric RPG. It's real weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I also want to tr- give that a shot um, at some point. And like we've done kind of our, our fast five on Robin Hood, but I think that could make it as an excuse to try to play that on here because yeah. it's a I think that both versions are legendarily bad games, <laughs> but I think would be at least interesting. Yeah. 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 I just uh, I'm just I'm just curious about that. I have not thought about Robin Hood at all, um, but mm-hmm. uh, but this uh, makes me makes me curious about it. I can't not think about Robin Hood. He's good. At the end, when he uh, when you get there, Maid Marian, I watched a speed run of it. Okay. Um, you run up to Maid Marian, you give her a little kiss on the cheek, and then you do your little like look towards towards the camera. Oh, does, and he, does shows... he get an eyebrow waggle? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have brows. <laughs> um, but then he uh, he stands there while it shows the uh, fireworks and it shows the kind of just ending text, and you just kind of stand there giving her little like little kisses and looking at the camera, and it's kind of cute. Oh, like, I kind of like it. Like it's like wow. Oh. Nice Super Robin Hood. There's like a crazy story about the creation of this game too. Um, like, Super Robin Hood. Yeah, because like this yeah. was this was made by the Oliver twins, who were just like these brothers who were incredibly inc- incredibly prolific. But like <laughs> they got ten thousand, I, I guess like uh, pounds. Maybe I, I, I mm-hmm. can never tell which which symbol that is. And like they lorries. worked for twenty. Yeah, <laughs> ten thousand lorries. Um, and, uh, they worked for 18 to 23, 18 to 23 hours per day. They took 30 minute breaks to allow for the computer to, uh, to cool. And sometimes one brother coded on paper while the other used the computer. So pretty, like, pretty bonkers. Yeah. Like, you know, they're like, they're like, it's very, very weird. And they also, the company that they were involved with, like was, uh, active way later than you maybe think. Yeah, like they 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 were involved in the creation of Karaoke Revolution. Yep, which like I played a lot of that game. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's it's pretty. You know, it's you know it, it's mostly uh, like ZX Spectrum kind of Commodore, you know, kind of stuff. Yeah, six sixty four stuff and kind of British computer stuff. You know, they're responsible for almost all the Dizzy franchise yeah. or involved in it. <laughs> um, but it is uh, these guys are pretty interesting. Yeah. Also, they're they just were, called the Oliver Twins. Yeah, like just j- just these two dudes. Like maybe they brought some help in, but at the time they were seventeen when they were doing this. That's that's that's, that's crazy. Something. What are you doing with your life? Um, the picture there's uh, if you search them, okay. there's fun pictures of them as well. Oh wow! Because uh, there's like a really cute picture of them uh, with Blitz Entertainment with a little like uh, dig, uh, dizzy. Oh know, yeah, kind of stand that they made. Yeah, yeah, and they they they're identical. Yeah, right. so they they you know they're identical twins. They're not just those shit kind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you're the garbage twins, one of which should have been resorbed um, Good in the God. world. You know, <laughs> all right, like, identical. Or get out. Like if, if there's like two, if you're choosing, there's like three types of twins: like regular, uh, conjoined, and identical. And like of those, like identical are 100 percent the coolest. I mean, the, I mean they're the they're the most. I can't, I can't go on this ride with you, Gary. I think, I think twins are more common than you think they are. <laughs> I, maybe. Yeah, I, I think that if it was a fight, but oh, Gary, I'm not going to join you. So if you piss off a set of twins, it's going to be two on one. I prefer twins. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get trying to get some twin action. I want one of those uh, weird sets of twins where like it's a guy and a girl, and the girl kind of looks like an androgynous version of the guy. Hmm. 
and they're just gonna fight fuck me until dawn um i don't actually want that i'm just talking to uh, yeah he's, I he's talking. Die. <laughs> 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 hey gary who's this for <laughs> I, I don't know somebody thought that was funny probably yeah, yeah i did I mean, yeah maybe not but like it's it's you know hopefully yeah and at this, this point you know, i'm giving it giving it some effort the um oh, so look at the meeting some mcdonald's nice yeah yeah it's, it's pretty cute right yeah yeah <laughs> um treasure island dizzy we've done a dizzy game for this yes we have i cannot remember which one it very well could have been treasure island dizzy i don't i don't know which dizzy we did <laughs> It's like like Dizzy's, uh, yeah, the Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy, yeah, and yeah. Dizzy, you know, Dizzy's problematic. We we talked a lot about Dizzy <laughs> then, I think. <laughs> like, I think it sounds like he's a war criminal. <laughs> like Dizzy, it turned out Dizzy, Dizzy paid some guys five dollars to hold up a sign that said "Death to All Yokes," so it's, uh, it's he's not okay. Yeah, he, he does come from the kingdom of yoke folks, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah, he's uh, he's this was like Codemaster's mascot, right? Right. Uh, and it was in lots of games. And the big problem with this is it's kind of an interesting inventory adventure game where you can only carry three items in a, at a time, and they're always in the same order. So to like, you just have one button that just cycles through picking up, moving over to three slots and dropping. Yeah. Uh, so it it becomes a real real pain to play any of these games. Yep. And it's mixed in with a pretty shitty platformer. Yeah, it's yeah. real weird. I do love the jump animation in this, though, where he just yeah. kind of does, like, these really lazy cartwheels. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, oh. but uh, I didn't get too terribly far in this. Was this something that you that you had any fun with as a, as a little kid? I tried to. Like, I, yeah. I tried to get into it because I liked adventure games. Right, right. You know, this was, this was, yeah, I like love Man Mansion and stuff, but this was too unfriendly for, for me to get into. And you yeah. just, you die all the time. Yeah. And it, like, it's full of instant death. It doesn't set you back very far, but it starts you right next to water. And immediately, if you walk to the right, you just drown as soon as you touch it. <laughs> like, yep. you know, in exactly the way that eggs don't. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, if, if the egg floats, he'd be rotten. So that's true. Yeah. Well, as we mentioned, Dizzy is rotten to the, the core. <laughs> rotten to the I've, fucking core. Yeah. I've read in Wall Street Journal. Oh, that, that's the, a um, weird way. Like, uh, if, if, my, if my eggs are questionable, I essentially put them through the same like, trials as a witch. <laughs> <laughs> And not that far removed from the trials of cooking them. <laughs> like to an alien, they wouldn't understand. Like, well, what I was put doing, this egg no. in water, and this egg is bad, and you put it in the garbage, <laughs> but this egg is good, and you put it in your belly. Like, an alien would have no conception of your relationship to eggs, Cole. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Like, it's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> uh, God, life is complicated. It's a lot sometimes, you know? Yeah, it really is. It's uh, Sometimes it's too much. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gary, it's all too much. It's so much. It, 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 is, it is all too much. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Linus Spacehead, which is the other one I played a lot. Um, I think I, this. There's only one song in this, and I think it's legitimately kind of good. Gary, I didn't get this at all. <laughs> I, I thought this was the worst thing on the game on the on the cart. I I, wow. I, I, I don't understand Linus Spacehead. Um, well, he's a, he's a little he's a little rebel. Like um, I, he's, I, he's I, under, cool I understand who he is. I understand he's a mascot. Okay. Okay. He's from the planet Linoleum. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's from the planet Linoleum. Um, he uh, uh, it's just a little, it's just a little platformer, right? Like it, it's just a you you get hit once you die. Right. But you just have to you just have to dodge things and jump on stuff. Right, it's uh, it's a platformer. At least in the first level, I could only jump, hmm, let's say one half of a Linus height. Yeah, Li Linus can't jump very very high in the first level. Did you? I mean, did you figure out the mechanic of the first level at all, or did you just die from like not being able to jump? Oh yeah, I, de I definitely got up. Like I, I I rode the bubbles up, and then I got yeah. to the I got to the second the second screen, and my time was up. Okay, yeah, you just had to be. I mean, quicker. Yeah, you just had to be more lead at Linus Spacehead than. You uh, had to be as cool with oh this no! Like I, I, I didn't like run out of breath. I just, I was like, okay, well, I'm done. I have oh, no God. interest in because because I tested again. Like, oh, is that is that jump height a a problem of being underwater? It turns out absolutely not. That no, is just no. the way that he controls. Yeah, he doesn't. He, you have a very like a super super limited shitty jump. 
<laughs> and that's kind of his deal. And he just kind of dodged stuff and move around. But I think when I was younger, it made an impression on me because it was the first time I heard that weird C64 tremolo mm. kind of thing. So the music in this game I really like, and it has this like that weird C64 effect uh, to the, the sound. I don't really know how to describe it exactly. It I wonder, be- I wonder oh. how they emulated that on, uh, on NES. Because like a, my understanding is that was a that like that was a a peculiarity to the hardware. It's not a it's not unique to this, but I think the other game uh, that had it was another Codemasters game huh. that I played, where I was like, oh, it makes that sound. So maybe it was like a proprietary chip huh. kind of thing. But it, there's just a sound to the uh, the the synth. Yeah, I, I cut I cut in a little a little snippet, um, yeah. so people can people can hear what we're talking about. Yeah, I just I just kind of dig it. So I think I mostly just wanted to listen to the music, um, which is not like melodically complex or good it's just kind of like a little goofy bass line with these but the chords sounded really cool yeah yeah uh to me so the uh yeah yeah i wasn't i wasn't that into line of space head i thought that it was a bad platformer um even if that opening gimmick was 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 kind of okay um it just felt like a little bit too like random you know you were counting on the bubbles coming up in a certain pattern um so that you would always have something to jump to um yeah there, there's something stressful that yeah. are involved yeah yeah that, that is uh that's not untrue um, and then once you get up uh, above, it's not like a great platformer. It's just like you just dodge things. Right. You know, but I, I didn't, and I never beat it, but I got fairly far in it when I was younger. Um, I have no idea why. Yeah. I mean, it was the music and the, the same song plays for the entire thing. I never oh, changed because it. of course it does. Yeah. Well, that's true of all these games. Yeah. Um, and the, the music for a uh, line of space head, uh, I like, and then the super Robin Hood theme is not so bad. The boomerang kid and adventure Island or treasure Island dizzy. Oh, it's super. It's, it's like, it's like three notes. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the place where they would uh, they would cut corners on these things, and that is that is regrettable. Yeah, uh, they they tried to make Linus Spacehead into its own thing because there's a sequel called Linus Spacehead's Cosmic Crusade, which is an adventure game. Huh. Which uh huh yeah that, that didn't take off <laughs> no uh, 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 be, because they thought that uh like the like the Disney train or not dizzy the the dizzy train was uh, was losing steam so we gotta yeah. hop to we gotta hop to Linus because like Linus uh totally something else <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah l- l- listen listen other exactly l- l- listen to Schultz jump. had a great had a great fall. <laughs> <laughs> gonna come up and just um, just kidney punch Schultz until he gives up the name Linus. <laughs> I don't think he has that name copyrighted. Like if you're born and your name is, you know, if you're, there are people named Linus. I mean, I don't it, think he made that up for the cartoon. You belong, you belong to Schultz. And like like if your baby name is Snoopy, like if you name your baby <sighs> Snoopy, Snoopy I'm, Butterfield. I'm, I was about to say I'm positive there's somebody named Snoopy, but then I remembered Snoop Dogg. So oh sure. Snoopy dog. Yeah. You seen the video, the the Snoopy Snoopy poop dog video? It's, no, what is that? It, it, it's it, it's it's a uh, just just look it up. It's it's a very short video of a of, a, of an older lawmaker who was going online talking about the uh, how outrageous kids media was. It's you know it's not it's it's no wonder there's so much there's so much violence among the youth. You know they don't send thank you cards. They spend their days listening to Enema Man and Snoopy Snoopy poop dog. It's Enema Man. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just uh, just just look it up. It's it's I, funnier. I think, it's it's it's, it's pretty funny. Um, when uh, when I was googling this, um, I found it on this website called Luki Games. L- Lugi, like Hawk and a Lug. Uh, Luki, L U K I E. Okay, and it lets you. It's a game selling site for old games, and th- this isn't worth talking about for very long. <laughs> However, uh, if you buy it from Luki, uh, you're awarded Luki points. Oh, fun. Like, there's all this stuff about the game you know the price all these things you can add to your wish list ships in 24 hours but there's a little box that says lukey points 11 lukey points will be awarded to you when you buy this game <laughs> do you like collect lukey points as well oh <laughs> that's about yeah well, i mean um, like you, you can you can actually convert those they have a deal with delta where you can turn those into oh, miles and delta miles yeah yeah, uh, <laughs> Delta miles and Luki points. The conversion yeah. chart. Yeah, it's, it's, it's five hundred miles to one to, to one Luki point. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, well, I got to go to Japan for buying <laughs> copy of Quad, Quattro Adventure. Yeah, um, there's also some good game fact stuff on this. Yeah, uh, um, the, the 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 less said about that crazy uh, uh, message board entry. That is so racist. I'm not even going to. So, okay, somebody wrote in this incredibly racist patois. Uh, I'm not going to re- repeat it, except it includes in the hood, yo. Yeah. So, so there yeah. we go. For, it's, uh, it's, it's, 
But then the person Minor Dog 66 is like, I don't know about that, but it is quite nostalgic and fun. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's the only reason why I excerpted uh, this. I'm into Minor Dog 66's response yeah. there. Like, good, good dog. <laughs> just, just smiling, nodding. Like, well, you know, I'm oh. not just, that's a little silly, but I can agree. Like, it is a good game. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I don't know about that. I'll leave that to the courts to decide. Um, the reviews, uh, E Poet Curse. Oh, I'm so happy he you got this. He was fucking mad. Yeah. Off his fucking mind. Like, oh, he's got an axe to grind. He picked yeah. up our axe from anime and Star Wars, and he just, he's sharpened that up. And, he, and he's going to put it into a little magazine. <laughs> this is how he starts his thing too uh yep a little magazine called game informer former game informer game informer uh wrote such a wonderful review of this horrid little collection that i was actually motivated to spend money on the card great instead of one uh instead of one average to above average game i get four below average games what uh unforgivable right before nintendo was about to die <laughs> These things look and play much more like Atari rather than Nintendo games. Yeah. Music. Yerg! <laughs> <laughs> and if there's one thing anybody who's read my reviews has learned, it's don't piss me off when it comes to music. <laughs> Scores already fallen down to a five. And the next oh, point, point slide five. is. <laughs> to, oh. Yeah. Or no, to a five. I think he's working oh. on a 10 point scale. I think, I think they had to. Okay. Me- is this your first rodeo? <laughs> Okay, yeah, down to a five. <laughs> but I love this guy working on the math. Like, oh man, we've we've already <laughs> <laughs> as we go. If there's one thing uh anyone who's really has learned, uh good, I'll keep that in mind, sir. If there's one thing um, I've learned about Epoiker, it's that he has written a guide for Shinobi, that he's reviewed Disney's Little Mermaid, and do not fuck with him vis a vis music. <laughs> not fuck with me about music <laughs> um you know and he seems like he has fine fine uh opinions other than this he hates <laughs> deadly towers hates you know right north star uh but you gotta leave my quattro boys alone <laughs> <laughs> a lot of his reviews are very animate like this his review for blasto is ah kill it <laughs> just his, like you think these are dictated cool <laughs> <laughs> You're sending him off to the Amazon Mechanical Turk. Yeah. <laughs> ba- Battle Toads and Double Dragon. Five hearts. Sweet! Yeah, he's in a mechanical lung and he's just like <laughs> typing as hard as he can. He's, d- <laughs> he's your diving bell and butterfly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's uh, the girl and the squid or whatever that thing about the kid jacking off was about. Was it? Is the squid and the whale? There we go. That's what I was thinking about. That has something to do with that. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just That's the closest thing to what you said. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow! That's what I call <laughs> foreplay. That's the title. Yep, no, no, I, I, I get it. Um, wow. Uh, our our friend E Poet Kerr reviewed the NES, the testing oh. ground for all the best ideas in video gaming. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Gameplay. First, the controller. Two main action buttons. One enormously intuitive control pad and two extra buttons in the middle for peripheral functions. He says enormously (laughs) controllable. Uh, Enormously intuitive control pad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) He also makes the definitive review for Final Fantasy Tactics. I should probably read that as a fan of the game. Oh, no. I mean, like, just... We're going to... It is definitive. We need to go back and actually... We need to revise our... uh, Our our episode. Yeah. It's it's almost like he these are all part of the way he introduces all these. It's like it's all part of one gigantic session. Like this is part of his me, his memoirs. Oh yeah, the, you know this is now or now for a review of you know. <laughs> did, uh, I, did, did, did I did <laughs> was I ambivalent about Robo Track for the Super Nintendo? You bet your ass <laughs> I was. <laughs> you bet I was. That's not seeing a girl named Starla. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> man, yeah. When it comes to Secret of Mana, the kid oh, stays in the picture. Review of EVO. This this is the title of the review. This creature can evolve himself into a super being without reproducing. Kind of like Doomsday. Oh, cool. From Death of Superman? Hey, hey Gary, <laughs> this was written in, in May of 2001. Was What was Doomsday up to around that time? <laughs> I don't know. He'd already killed Superman. Right. For those of you who haven't followed Superman comic books, Doomsday is a maniacal killing machine who could evolve to meet any attack used against him. <laughs> Good, yeah, what are you talking about, <laughs> Poetiker? Man. Ugh. Oh, E.E. Poetiker. Wow, this guy has a fucking boner for both Battletoads and Double Dragon. 
Yeah. But never the twain shall meet. Oh, definitely the twain shall meet. <laughs> In, yes, it's true. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. Oh, and his, and his, uh, his Tetris review is also about Russians winning the Cold War. Bringing it all back. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, this isn't the same guy. No, it? no. It's, okay. It, uh, yeah, that was another I mean, it's, was like, it's the cheapest, easiest joke you could make about a game that came from true. Russia. It would just be, what a, what a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, he reviewed Willow. Willow's good. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me he didn't say anything bad about Willow. Oh, no, he, 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 he gave it four out of five. Thank S- God. And the title, Suck It, General Kale. Anybody else want to call me Peck? <laughs> yeah, hey, Gary. Hey, 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 He's writing hey, fan fiction. Hey, hey Gary. Title. Is, is that from Willow? I have no idea. And neither well, does anybody else who's listening. They, the characters are. Okay. But that's uh, who's, who's the perspective? Is that written from Willow's perspective? Because I can't imagine our beautiful boy Warwick Davis ever saying "suck it, General Kale." Mm, uh, uh, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> and General Kale didn't call him Pack. Actually, it was Mad Mordigan who did that. God damn it! I'm gonna write this guy an email. Hold on a second. Okay. No. No. So, so send, um, send him a, a game fax message. Let me see if I can. Yeah. No. Or, I mean, it, only if he has his email. I can't. Uh, yeah, I don't have a game fax account. Cool. <laughs> After well, four years, you haven't you haven't dove in. It seems, it seems like we both should, right? Like we should do a special report at some point. I, I, like I just, I'm I am thoroughly embedded. Like you, you have yeah. you have jokingly read a couple of my reviews, and you have no idea. <laughs> you, it's the, the, uh, the e e poet cur and the K stands for. Cool. <laughs> yeah. There's no email here, so I can't correct him about his willow lore. <laughs> but sadly, you know, and I never will be able to. No, no. Um. Yeah, so that's uh, that's Quattro Adventure. That's Willow. Yeah, um, it, it was it was good. None of these games would, would have stood on their own for an episode, or yeah. you know, uh, as a, as an NES cart. But together, they formed a, uh, a cohesive whole. Except for Dizzy, I still have no no goodwill in my heart for Dizzy. I mean, a goodwill for Dizzy. I don't. Uh, I'm, this isn't a story or anything. It's not worth delaying the end of the episode. But I don't. Uh, I don't know how I got this. <laughs> like, it's it's like I don't remember having a memory of it. It just kind of like came with my body. <laughs> it, was like, it, was, it was duct taped to my back along it was your, with a it was wire your starting a artifact camera yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom chose this for me instead of the twin humanities instead like i just key. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i i just i just had it it's always been you know i have no idea how it happened to it either like it just kind of it was like a hook it just came and went in my life <laughs> i think <sighs> uh, so yeah goodbye, that's our adventure <laughs> Well, I, I'm happy that I got to play uh, that I got to play uh, Robin Hood, Super Robin Hood. Yeah. That was that, that, that was a, a neat little game. Pretty fun. It would man that would that game would kill on Game Boy, mm. like it's like a Game Boy experience. I think just because it's like that the kind of lowered Game Boy expectations. Oh yeah. Really fun. yeah. yeah. Um, I suggested this. Yes, you did. Nobody else did. Yeah. If uh, if you like the show, um, you can support us by going to patreoncom forward slash Yeah, it's a huge help. It really um, is. Yeah, you can get bonus episodes of this per month. You can uh, have the joy of supporting us. You get access to our Slack channel. Um, lots of things, lots of different rewards. Go ahead and take a look. Yeah. Um, the special episodes are some of the best stuff we do, I think. We're not intentionally hiding the good stuff behind a paywall, but that is just a way to encourage you to, you know, either become a patron at that level or go to um, duckfeed.tv slash store. The uh, season two of uh, Exquisite Suffering is going to be available um, by the mm-hmm. time this comes out. Um, so check that out. Uh, the, the old episodes are available at a discount, uh, for that, mm-hmm. which, uh, which is, which is nice. Um, so, uh, go ahead and check those out. I said it that is like weird twice. how that happens. Cause we, we don't do that on purpose at all. No. Like the idea of like the, you know, the good episodes, but some of the best episodes I think are, are these. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if I can make some that. recommendations, like the 50 cent blood on the sand is yeah, that's still, real fun. like all time. Yeah. I think, I think that's uh that's, that's one of our, one of some of our finest work. Yeah. Um, what else can they do? Cool. Um, check out the diggity duck bundle again at duckfeed.tv slash store. I know we've talked about it a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, by this point, I'm sure that we have sold plenty of them. And again, there's some good stuff in there. You can get, uh, 12 episodes, 10 hours of content, um, from across all the shows on the network, uh, supporting some, uh, some great causes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then ratings, reviews, things like that are, are very appreciated. Um, as well as telling friends, talking about it on social media, things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about it. Just about. Um, so a next, until next time, who's four dog? Yep. Why not? Yeah. I don't have anything better. <laughs> that's sadly. Who are those two, two dogs? 
<laughs> there we go. There, who is two two dogs? <laughs> Due to the second power dog. <laughs> power dog. <laughs> oh god! I want a pet power dog. <laughs> That's how you get his power. Yeah, you gotta rub him and get the static electricity, and then you become <laughs> Ernest goes to jail and fucking shit things up. <laughs>